Okay, assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. So um, today I will be sharing about 4.5. Okay, nucleic acid. So you will learn. Uh, so you have learned about lipids yesterday, uh, proteins, carbohydrates, and water. Okay, so today we will be focusing on 4.5, which is nucleic acid. Okay, so what is the definition of nucleic acid? So basically, nucleic acids are one or two polymer chains comprising of nucleotide. Okay, so there are many, many nucleotides. Nucleotide is like the building block for nucleic acids. Okay. Okay, so 4.5.1. Okay, first you need to know what are the elements that make up nucleic acids. Okay, so basically, if, if you notice, okay, from our previous uh, chemical components in cells, such as uh, protein, you can see that majority of our uh, body is made up from carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen okay but for nucleic acid there are two additional elements okay which are nitrogen and phosphorus okay so if you want to remember okay uh, c carbon hydrogen o for oxygen m nitrogen and v phosphorus Okay, next is uh, explain the structure of nucleotide. Okay, nucleotide is the building block for our DNA and also RNA. Okay, so what is nucleotide? Okay, nucleotide, like I said, is the building block of DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid is the full name and RNA, ribonucleic acid. Okay. So a nucleotide, okay, one nucleotide consists of three parts, okay, which are nitrogenous base, pentose sugar, and phosphate group. Okay, this one you need to remember uh, by memorization. Eh? Okay, this like I said before, okay, three parts of nucleotide, okay, phosphate group is fixed, okay. So tak ada phosphate group yang lain, okay, but for pentose sugar, and nitrogenous base okay there are many types of pentose sugar and also nitrogenous base okay so i will explain later what is the types of nitrogenous base and also what is the two types of pentose sugar phosphate group are usually fixed okay there are only one type for your syllabus okay okay so structure of nucleotide they are pentose sugar nitrogenous base and phosphate group so there are two types of pentose sugar okay depends on whether uh, you want to build dna or you want to build rna for rna we call it ribose while for dna we call it deoxyribose okay why we call it deoxyribose okay what is the differences between ribose and deoxyribose for deoxyribose, as you can see from this structure, okay, this is the structure for ribose sugar on the left, and this one is the structure for deoxyribose. For deoxyribose, as you can see, okay, this is the carbon atom, pentose sugar. Why it is called pentose sugar? Because the shape of the sugar is like a, a pentagon, okay, five sides, okay, one, two, three, four, five. And there are five carbon atoms here, okay? So, for deoxyribose, deoxy means no, tak ada, okay? Si ada, okay, faham, eh? So, for uh, deoxyribose, okay, at the carbon number two, there is no oxygen, okay? There, there, is, there is the reason why it is called deoxy, meaning no oxygen, tak ada oxygen, si ada oxygen okay 
However, for ribose sugar, there is a there is an oxygen atom here. Okay, at the carbon number two. Okay, that is the reason why it is called ribose. So ribose basically like a normal sugar lah, like. Okay, but for deoxyribose, there is no oxygen at the carbon number two. Okay. Okay, next for point five point two, explain the structure of nucleotide. Okay, so before this, this that that was the uh, differences in pe uh, pentose sugar ribose and deoxyribose. Now differences between nitrogenous base. Okay, for your syllabus, there are five types of nitrogenous base. Okay, so I put it in color so that you can remember easily. Okay. The first one is adenine. Okay, usually we will write with the capital A, not small cap, uh, letter, okay, capital A. Thymine, T, guanine, G, cytosine, C, and uracil, U. Okay, and uracil is only available in RNA, okay. Okay, so kita, kita akan tengok, okay, apa yang uracil ni akan ganti. Okay, oh, uracil will replace thymine in RNA. Maksudnya dalam RNA, cuma ada adenine, guanine, cytosine dan uracil. Okay, there is no thymine in RNA. Okay, dan dalam DNA pun tak ada uracil. Cuma ada adenine, thymine, guanine dengan cytosine. Okay, describe the structure of nucleic acid DNA. Okay, DNA, uh, full name deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, this is the definition for DNA. Okay, consists of two polynucleotide chains that intertwine. Intertwine means they, they twisted together. Okay, macam dengan double helix. So, dia macam bersilang di antara satu sama lain. In opposite direction. Maksudnya, Ada satu strand yang akan ke bawah, okay, and ada satu strand yang akan ke atas, okay. Sebab tu lah dia akan buat pairing itu, okay, okay. Maksudnya dia bukannya selari parallel, eh? DNA dia punya uh, dia punya bentuk dia, okay, daripada dia bersilang, okay, dari five prime to three prime, okay, yang atas ke bawah dan satu lagi dari bawah ke atas, so dia akan berpusing macam tu yang kamu tengok DNA, tu kan? Okay, dan nitrogenous base untuk DNA uh, ATCG. Okay, kamu ingat dia punya huruf je ATCG. Kena ingat juga nama penuh, okay. Nanti kena hafal, tapi nak bagi kamu ingat senang, kena ingat dia punya huruf. Okay, ATCG. Sebut ATCG, sebab A dia akan pair dengan T, C akan pair dengan G. Tak boleh ada A dengan C, A dengan G, okay. A dia mesti dia akan pair, dia akan berpasangan dengan T. Adenine dengan thymine. Cytosine dia akan pair dengan guanine. Memang macam tu, tak boleh. Cytosine tiba-tiba dia, dia nak pair dengan thymine. Oh tak boleh, salah. Haram eh. Mesti A, T, C, G. Seperti bila kamu nak hafal pun, kamu sebut A, T, C, G. Ikut je apa yang saya cakap ni. Okay, sebab saya dah bagi senang cara kamu nak hafal ya. A, T, C, G. Okay, the next one is for RNA. Okay, RNA, ribonucleic acid. Okay, the differences between RNA and DNA, as you can see, RNA is a only single strand. Satu, apa tu? Satu strand lah. Okay, macam benang tu, satu. Okay, DNA dia double helix. Dia ada dua strand. Nitrogenous base to DNA, okay, yang saya bagi tahu tadi, AUCG. Okay, U dia akan replace uh, with, U is replaced with, no, 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 saya silap, okay, ni, T is replaced with U, okay, ni saya sesilap uh, tulis ni, okay. Okay, T dia akan digantikan dengan uh, U. Okay, T dia akan ganti dengan U. So, untuk uh, nitrogenous base, untuk RNA ni, this one, ya Allah. Kenapa dia letak? 
untuk RNA okey so kamu tak confuse eh okey A U C G okey yang T yang dalam DNA tadi dia akan diganti dengan U uracil okey kalau kita nak transcribe protein kita nak buat protein okey daripada DNA dia akan jadi RNA okey so T yang dekat DNA tu dia akan digantikan dengan U dia akan jadi single strand. Tak apa ni kamu akan belajar dalam identification ni, okay? Okay, these are the question. Okay, kalau kita tengok buku teks. Okay, what are the main RNA? Three mains or RNA? Okay, yang mRNA, tRNA, and apa lagi? rRNA, okay? Ah, okay. So, these are the bigger picture of differences between RNA and D. NA, okay. Sama juga macam RNA, okay. A, dia akan pair dengan U lah. Okay, disebabkan U ni dia digantikan dengan, uh, apa, dalam RNA, T digantikan dengan U. So, dia punya pairing pun masih lagi sama. Okay, tak akan berubah, eh. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. Okay, thank you for listening.